your boy joining and i am here to guide you through this this audio guided tour of the deep dark side of youtube where we have very strange videos that don't have many views. The weirdest things you could possibly find have all been curated on this little spot over here on Reddit called Deep Into YouTube. We are going on a little adventure. It may be scary. Please keep your hands and legs inside the vehicle at all times and do not remove your seatbelt. Let's get rocking. Here we go. We have a video here of all the world leaders who have pooped their pants in a McDonald's uh, between 1970 and 20. 20. <laughs> Apparently when this video was posted, it had 744 views. No one. No one. Still no one. <laughs> At 96 now. Oh, Australia! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! <laughs> Called out! Never have I been so called out as a representative of Australia. <laughs> oh, who was it? I don't know enough about Australia to know who was a well, who was an Australian leader at that point in time. Remembering the rumor of ScoMo. Wait, it was ScoMo? Oh my goodness. He's our current prime minister. <laughs> I didn't check what year it happened. Oh my goodness. Oh, it happened in 97. I see what's going on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so there's been a rumor that back in 1997, Scotathan Morrison poked his pants in a, in a Mickey D's. And we would have never known if it hadn't have been for the deep dark side of YouTube. Ooh. Okay, this one is, uh, the title is, the, This 58-year-old man has been uploading videos on a regular basis on topics such as music, trivia, animals, video games, and urban legends. Urban legends. Was the Monster Mash song really banned? September 10th is the date, it's the anniversary of the date that the song Monster Mash was <laughs> indeed banned. You can't make this up. Yeah, all the problems in the world, but they had to ban Monster Mash. But it was a song written by Bobby Boris Pickett and the Crypt Keeper, uh, and the Crypt, Ke <laughs> the Crypt Keepers. <laughs> this is just me on Twitch in like 40, 50, 50 years. I'm just trying to do the math here. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> sitting, sitting down. Now guys, let me tell you about the time that Purdy Pie was banned on YouTube. <laughs> it was after World War Three. <laughs> That's pretty wholesome, though. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. That is pretty wholesome. Gather around, children. Yeah, it's like you get to simulate the experience of just, like, visiting your grandpa. The question is, what year was it banned? Okay. Was it A, 1960? B, 1962? C, 1964? Or C, 1966? And as always, my trivia questions, I'll give you a few seconds to pause and spoiler or give away the answer. Looks out the window. Okay, the answer is B, 1962, so... Oh, 50 dang! I got it wrong. I, did, I didn't guess, but that, <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Ah, what a good grandpa. Dude, I'm going to make such a great grandpa. I got so much stuff to talk about. I'm going to talk off so many people's ears. Not that I don't already, but it's going to suit me. It's going to suit me very well, being a grandpa. I'll be there sitting my, sipping my whiskey, making videos like this on YouTube. Let me tell you about the lemon carton. Where did it come from? Everybody's always asking me. Nowhere! I thought it was cute. Brent, Brendan Fraser Games. Finally, someone played and reviewed all 3DS games based on Brendan Fraser movies. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's 27 minutes long. Hello, welcome to DSCapades, the only show on the internet dedicated to covering rare and obscure Nintendo DS games. We have a very special episode for you today, and I'm going to start this episode off with a DSCapades fun fact. Did you know there is not one, not two, but three Nintendo DS games that feature Brendan Fraser on the cover? We have The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon No, I Emperor. didn't. No, I didn't. I'm sure it's a very interesting video. I'd be down. I'd be down to learn a little bit about Brendan Fraser games on the Nintendo DS. Unfortunately, I don't know if I've got the time for that in today's video. <laughs> Talk about niche. <laughs> <laughs> that is very niche. <laughs> Watch this dog's adorable reaction to a soldier returning home after two years. Is this real? 
It seems very, very fake. Scene from every Darman video. Why is this so- what is going on? Wait, what on earth is this video? Why is the house on fire? Why is someone swimming in the ocean? Why is the dog running on a beach? I have no idea what I just watched. You cannot tell me this isn't an I generated YouTube video <laughs> using stock videos. Yeah, you're exactly right. It feels exactly like that. It just grabbed random stock videos from online, grabbed a random track, cut it all together, and then uploaded it with like an AI generated title. <laughs> <laughs> Playing an interactive game on YouTube in 2009. 255 views. Hello. You must be my next opponent. By clicking this video, you have challenged me for the champ title of Tic Tac Toe in a row. <laughs> be ready to be beaten by the Tic Tac Toe champion of YouTube. Okay. Let's rock. I will make the first move. <laughs> Go ahead, it's your turn now. <laughs> okay, if people don't understand what's happening, if your little Zuma mind is very confused about what's going on here. <laughs> Back in the day, uh, it, it wasn't that re it wasn't that long ago that YouTube took away annotations. I'm sure you all remember what they are. Uh, you could just add, add little boxes, and they could either like shake things, or it could link you to another video. So, what people used to do is they would have these interactive videos where like you would get to at some point in the decision annotations would pop up and you would get to click on something and then it would take you to that video. So this person has made a video where every single option is its own video. And so when you click here, it takes you to the video where that one's, that one's a circle, that one's a circle, that one's a cross, and then that one turns into a cross. And then you watch that 15 second video. And then you need to, I don't know how many videos that is, but that's quite a lot of videos. <laughs> and see, you used to kind of like have these games that you used to play. People, people used to make like, yeah, people used to make their own like choose your own adventure videos. I remember like Wheezy Waiter making one. And then this video is someone being excited that they beat sub to me for A's tic-tac-toe video. So this video was uploaded all the way back in 2009 and they're just excited that they beat the, the tic-tac-toe. <laughs> The tic-tac-toe choose your own adventure. We've come full circle from the let me tell you about the time comment. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it's just me. <laughs> that first one is just me. Back in my day, we used to have choose your own adventure YouTube videos. There is 729 different videos because nine times nine times nine. I had to use a calculator. Is it though? Hold on. So is it not like nine times seven times five times three or something? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> this elderly World War II veteran has made a huge number of videos talking about the various things that he remembers. Most of them have less than 100 views. Hello again, partners. Here we are at report number 60. Over Whoa. the past more than a year, my writer, producer, and researcher Dennis Daly has come up with a wide variety of stories about Americans. This time, we're going to honor a very special dear friend of mine. He was a great patriot. He never held elected office or won any great honors on the battlefield. What did he do? <laughs> Talk. Talk? Yes, he is important <laughs> because he simply talked. I don't get it. Well, let's go back to the early 1950s to oh, one of no. the most <laughs> important. Oh, that seems pretty wholesome. <laughs> Talk. 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 <laughs> a very special man indeed. <laughs> uh, it seems like a wholesome old man. He's made, made a bunch of videos talking about stuff. That's that's so wholesome. This is what YouTube's all about. You know, you know, these days, all these new fan bangled YouTubers doing their silly reaction videos and stuff. Nah, fam. <laughs> Gross. Get that stuff out of here. Let's take YouTube back to the very start. 
where it was just about turning on a camera and just rambling a little bit. Just sharing your stories. Connecting with people. Not many people, but at least a couple people that want to hear it. The name of his channel, it's actually really hard for me to find out. It's called Jimmy's Lecture. Someone recorded the Jimmy Neutron episode Brobot on their Game Boy Advance SP. And it is by far the lowest quality video I've ever seen. 13,000 views. Oh my goodness. 13,000 views on this? It's the whole episode. This is like, you would be concerned. In, in, a, in a regular situation, you would be concerned about copyright. But there is nothing. There is absolutely no detail to pull from this. <laughs> a human would have a hard time telling you that this is Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the new meta on YouTube. Whenever whenever one of my clips gets copyrighted, like I don't know what I'm complaining about. We can go ahead and start looking at five minute crafts again. We just need to record it off a Game Boy Advance SP. No copyright detection. No problems anymore. It's not a problem anymore. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, I'm so ready for this. Hit me with this. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd goes wild. <laughs> again, again. Nice. <laughs> Imagine being able to make people's days just by saying, nice. <laughs> Power pose, nice. <laughs> so good. So I was working in Excel the other day and I decided to take a little five minute break. And I thought, how long would it take me to reach the very bottom of Excel? So I held my finger down on this arrow key for about five minutes and it wasn't happening. I know there's over a million rows in Excel. So I got curious and tried to look it up and surprisingly, no one has done this before. Yes, I realized I could do a formula in Excel or I could hold an arrow key down with something and leave and figure out how long it takes me. But where's the fun in that? So I've got some food, I've got some water. I don't know how I'm gonna use the bathroom, but the challenge is I've gotta keep my finger on this arrow key until I reach the bottom or I lose. Dude, we've got actual Mr. Beast here. But hey, somebody's gotta do it. So this is the This is the new Mr. Feast. Look, look, I'm gonna be honest. I like it. I like the idea. But the people wanna see the actual scrolling. Let's be real. Like sure. You can hold down the finger and it may be tough. You may be there for a while, but people really want to see the actual scrolling with a scroll wheel on a mouse. Oh my goodness. Wait, that's min oh, is that minutes? Yeah, 580 minutes is how many hours? Yeah, just under 10 hours. Start to finish 10 hours. Now he's been going for an hour 20. <laughs> Hasn't broken into the banana yet. So he's got time left in him. He's got one banana for 10 hours. Watching a movie. Has he heard of tape? Well, he just said, where's the fun in that? Clearly, he's having a good time. Having a wicked time. The funnest thing I've done yeah. wow. by yourself is so funny. Yeah, dude. Because you don't you meet more people. <laughs> having, like a, yeah. having like a good combo there. He's, he's a banana down. Five hours, 34 minutes. Imagine if it ended up taking like 10 days. Like, what, do you, what point do you give up? I was not expecting this. Bang! <laughs> he got them bars. <laughs> Eight hours, 20 minutes. Wonder how many mid-rolls would be on this video. Imagine, uh, imagine the money you'd make if someone like, if people just, you know how YouTube autoplay puts these videos on when people fall asleep? And then you just get a, a bunch of people having this on the entire night. You just put mid-rolls every like 45 seconds. <laughs> now that is some wicked cash. Uh, that's if the video gets views. All right, we, we got to see, see him end it. Get in there. Does it just end at the end? <laughs> Still going. How do I... I can't even like... My mouse isn't... My mouse is too big to like... This is seven minutes difference right here and I can't even see the difference. Like how do I actually get there? I think I have to like bring it back and then... What's that? 
No, that's still eight minutes off. This is hard. What's that? All right, we're three minutes off. Do I just have to sit for the three minutes? <laughs> I think I just have to wait. I'm still confused. Did he just eat a banana? Surely he has like a little celebration or something like that. That takes a little bit of time. Surely it doesn't take the full... This guy has no regard for his health. Dude, the guy's got massive guns. He clearly cares about his health. Guns are made out of protein, not a banana joining. What are you telling... You're telling him? He knows what guns are made out of. You're gonna pick a fight with these guns? I don't think so. If he got there in bananas... So close. What can you say? So close. <sighs> He's like puffed. <laughs> there hey it guys, is! So hey! I just finished and got to the very bottom of Excel. All 1,048,576 rows. It only took me about nine hours and 36 minutes. I'm hey. tired, I'm hungry, my hands really hurt, which is pretty sad, <laughs> but I did it. I don't recommend it at all. Please don't do it. I gotta know how many video, how many views it got. Cause like, if that thing didn't get views, you know, you can kind of understand someone doing it for the views, but the, the video got 34,000 views. Good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, Thirty-four thousand views is nothing to nothing to snuff snuff at. But I've I've done a lot less for thirty-four thousand views, and that's that's not that's 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 not me trying to brag. I'm just saying I'm just saying I wouldn't do it. <laughs> not for thirty-four thousand views. <laughs> Not a single one of those viewers watched the full 10 hours. You don't know that. King of the Hill dubbed in Tocharian, a Central Asian language that went extinct in the 1800s. Yo. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just a bunch of dudes standing around saying yo. Kusnat, kusnat si chompish. Sumanyito yandra. Kasunata kalpat. Yo. Yo! Goose came to me, Kersnam. Some food, Nash. Kersnat, we need. Cool! I don't know why that exists, but it does. Apparently, I can speak a fair bit of uh, Tocharian already. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Alright, this one is called Red. Maybe the best 15 second film I've ever seen. Six years old, only 534 views, apparently, when it was posted on the Reddit. Hey, Zach. Hey, Will. Having fun yet? Not really. I guess that makes sense. What do you mean? Paint the town red is just a figure of speech. Now I get it. it isn't even a town. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> uh, this is major, uh, this is major me and my friends high visual channel vibes. <laughs> Shoot the apple! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's three hours long. Boom, boom. Quack, quack, quack. Skia. Yeah. Pop, pop. And a poop, 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 boom. Skia. Poop, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Quack. Skia, pop, pop. Boom. It's three hours long. You just put it on on your TV in the background just for some ambiance, you know? Just to really set the mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't get better than that. Anyway, that was the deep side of YouTube. Now, your next task, my friends, is to follow me on Twitch. We film these live.